Muhammad, he said the clear things about women to the point he made them really the devil literally. So Muhammad, he said, and I quote here, this is not my statement, that women, she, she come in the image of the devil and she leave in the image of the devil. She is the devil actually, according to Muhammad. A person who respect women, he will not say that because women is my mother. How dare you to say my mother, she come in the shape of a devil and she live in the shape of a devil. What is her crime? She is a female. The man does not come in the shape of the devil and he live in the shape of the devil. Only women, they come in the shape of the devil and they live in the shape of the devil. Why? He claimed that the woman she was walking in the street, she made on the women. It's not him getting horny. The woman, she's just walking. She's not wearing even short skirt or anything. She's just walking in the street in the front of his house. And that make her the devil. So what she would do? We bury them. So he blame his sexual urge on the devil, which is the women. Not because he himself is the devil. So when they make article for you, and you do not know anything about Islam, you know, okay, the article sound good, but she's only, you know, hey, do you know, brother, that there was a prime minister in Pakistan, she is a female, but this has to do with Islam. According to Islam, she cannot. As simple as that. Do you know, brother, that there was a prime minister in Bangladesh, she can, she became, but this is not, this is not Islamic. Even Muhammad, he said clearly that a woman, she should not give any position in government or to lead or to be a judge in the Bible we have women who they are judges prophets you can so you can search right now in Google female judges in the Old Testament prophets not only judges prophets No nation will be succeed if a woman she lead them. Why, Muhammad, do you think in such a way? Do you see it? Muhammad, he heard the news in his time, in the time of Muhammad, the Persian, they choose a woman to be their queen. So while Muhammad was saying women are garbage, they cannot rule. The Persian who they are not Muslim at that time, they are supposed to be pagan, kuffar, najis. They made their daughter of their king, the queen. What Muhammad he said about that? Read it. When the Prophet he heard the news that the people of Persia had made a daughter of uh, Kisra, the queen, he said, never will succeed such a nation as make a woman their ruler. Do you see it? So do you see how they lie to you? This is the opinion of Islam in the women. Women are stupid. Women, they cannot be rulers. Women, they are not equal to men. Women, and the Quran says, you can beat them. And we find this. And by the way, always the Muslims, when, when they try to uh, translate for you any verse in the Quran, always they try <laughs> to hide how aggressive the Quran is against non-Muslim women and even children this is the muslim translation not mine trying to hide the fact that women she is not even equal to a dog in america because in america if you beat a dog you go to jail if you don't believe me you can ask any american and you can search the prophet google peace upon him if you beat a woman in america you go to jail and if you beat a dog in America, you go to jail. 
in Islam, if you kill a dog, you don't go to jail. And if you beat a woman, you are a good man. So neither is it protected, neither animals, neither women. Actually, Muhammad himself, he says, kill the dogs. If you are a dog lover, and actually I love dog. Dogs are the best friend for a human. Hmm? What's wrong with dogs? Why we should kill them? He ordered the dogs to be killed. And then you will see a Muslim saying the woman she gave water to a dog, she will go to heaven. A thirsty dog. Suddenly, suddenly uh, Muhammad became the Dalai Lama. Who, by the way, who I find him very foolish and very stupid too. Suddenly Muhammad became Mahmata Gandhi. But how he said that the one who gave water to the dog, he will go to heaven. But he ordered to kill the dogs. We go back to the Quran. This is how Islam view the women in Islam. Men are in charge of women. In which way? You see, Christianity says, says something similar, but not in the value. A man is the head of the house. Okay, what does that mean? The Bible explains. That the man should be is the leader of the house the same as a Christ the leader of the church But the man he should give himself the same as Christ he gave himself to his church So the man there in a position not to control to take advantage, but to sacrifice himself for his family with love leaders of love and free will Nobody has been ordered to follow Jesus free will the church is a free will in Islam no men are in charge of women because Allah has made the one of them excel the other because they spend of their property to support them so because look how humiliating that is because the man he spent some money buying you a panty then he have the right to strip you from your panty anytime he wants he is the one who paid for your panty. So good women are the one who is obedience. Why? Because they spend money on you. So where is the authority coming from? The women in Islam became like a prostitute. Why a woman who is a prostitute, she have to do the job she is hired for? Because she got paid. The guy, he paid you for a service. You are a prostitute. Is a perverted man, he needs a service. A Muslim woman, she have to be obedient because simply <clears throat> she was paid. And I'm not the one saying that, it's in front of you. So the good woman is the obedient in which way? They are obedient blindly. Then it says, and as for those who you may fear rebellion, a Muslim here he lies, he says to you, Oh, what if your wife is a cheat on you? Don't you beat her? My friend. First of all, this is not about cheating. Shame on you to lie. This is about if you fear rebellion, which means they did not even do rebellion. A rebellion has nothing to do with the cheating. A woman, let us say, you said your wife makes some tea. She did not move right away to do it. This is a this is a sign of rebellion. She's not acting like a slave. Who yes, sir, right now, sir. So what do you do? You admonish them. You scream at them. Don't do that again, okay? Now, maybe this was not enough. Still, she is not too much responding to your order in the right, in the way you want. Jail them in their rooms. You see, here it says, banish them in their beds. The fact it's about, fil madaja. Leave them in their room, which means jail them in their rooms. Nobody talk to them. Private jail. And scourge them. And the Muslim man, he can choose any of those. He can scourge you right away. He can admonish you right away. Or he can punish you in the bed right away. Which one? It's up to him. 
this is the rights of the man over the women he can jail you he can beat the hell of you and by the way in Muslim translation some of it says beat them lightly lightly have you ever heard of beating lightly where it says lightly I, who is a Muslim want to show me the word lightly in the verse Muhammad he says don't beat them until they break their bones obviously this is not lightly that's mean this is a very harsh beating actually Aisha and not me she witnessed that the most suffering woman is a believing woman maybe Aisha was a liar did Aisha say that absolutely Here you see a woman, her husband did beat her until he made her skin a greener than her clothes. And the one is reporting the story. Aisha. Look what Aisha she said. Aisha said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Who is the one witnessing that Muslim women are the most suffering? Aisha. Why Aisha? What the problem? Why you think Aisha that Muslim women is the most suffering one? You see, at that time, there's women who they are not Muslims. Aisha is saying a statement as a Muslim, as a wife of the Prophet, that look, I have not seen women suffering, women, not at this women, all the women, all the Muslim women suffering as much as the believing women. So all believing women are really suffering. Okay, what's happening? Look at her skin. It's a greener than her clothing. And if you read the story, Muhammad took the took the side of the man who did beat the women. And this woman obviously don't want to she don't want to sleep with her husband. She married him so, so she can go back to a previous husband. Muhammad he come with a stupid rule. And here again, this is abuse for women. Muhammad he said if a woman she, she was divorced by her husband, she cannot go back to the same husband until she sleep with the new man. But this woman, she have kids. She want to go back to her family. Muhammad, he says, no. You have to have sex with a new man. And this is, again, abuse to women. Because now you are forcing this poor woman who have no guilt, except she's been divorced by her husband, which means the, the, guy, the guy who divorced her is the one guilty. Now, in order she go back to her children, she have to sleep with a new guy. So she married this guy. So in order to go back to the previous husband, that's all the story. Muhammad he says no you don't let him sleep with you or rape you well he can beat you and he said to her if your intention to go back to Abdul Rahman well you should know you see it he said if your intention if that your intention what is intention to go back to her previous husband that's why she married a new man she don't want to sleep with him Muhammad, you don't agree. He have to have, he have to taste your juice, not intercourse only. She, he have to, 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 to taste your sexual, sexual juice, which means you have to make him happy to the end. And then after that, he divorced you and you can go back to your previous husband. So women here, she is getting beaten. She being raped and she been forced to be raped by a stranger in order just to go back to her family. And they say to us, women in Islam, they get their right. نحن نجل المرأة ونحترمه ولكن عندها قدر معين من الأعمال التي يجوز لها أن تتولاها أمور كثيرة حتى أخص الأمور. الخاصة بالمرأة لا تقدر عليها يعني المرأة نجد ان المرأة ايه ان المرأة الفستان اللي هي لبسه الان اللي عمله لها راجل الاكل اللي بتاكله اللي عمله راجل يعني ما وجدناش حتى طبيبة نساء ناجحة من النساء اخص امورها لم تقدر ان تفعلها بنفسها وانما الرجل هو الذي يصنع ذلك وليس هذا تقليل من قدرها فهي نصف المجتمع بل وترعى النصف الاخر 